Welcome back to GDPG, and we are playing more Frog Fractions. Ribbit. A game all about fractions and, and nothing frogs. else. And frogs. Yeah. And not about... And Zork Zorknids too, but Zorknids honestly, the Zorknids bit. are the uh, the enemy, so they don't need to be in the title. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all about the frog. So, last we left off, we got into legal trouble because, well, we destroyed most of the Zorknids and uh, tried to destroy the core, so... Well, no, no, no we were just... Yeah. So tell you what, I'm gonna read what the Zorknids are saying to you, and sure. then you read your, your response. I, I will. Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You, you're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with the intent to purloin our delicious space, f space fruit. How do you plead? Amphibious, your honor. Ribbit. Huh, are you sure you don't want in a lawyer? These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How do you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Uh. <laughs> uh, there's some good options here. Get them bugs off. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know, what are the hours? <laughs> A dutiful bug Martian must always be vigilant. The space fruit aren't going to steal themselves. Here, all you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? So... <laughs> I think it's protecting my precious space fruit from you goddamn commie space bugs, your honor. It's probably true. Like, that's got, like, that, that's it. That's gotta be it. That's, um, actually correct. <laughs> Next question. On the series, Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Trick question. Ice creams I've heard of on the Bug Mars because of the climate. Well, I had to try, didn't I? Four score and twenty bugs ago, <laughs> Bug in Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which in inalienable right? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. The right to refuse to testify against your hive mind in court. <laughs> Involuntary chirping, not notwithstanding, yes. <laughs> <laughs> During the Bug War of 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes Bugs? 420, I swear, they count them twice, that's, that's just a bad joke. A shameful moment in our history. He regretted it for the rest of his life. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? Uh-oh. This is the this is the money winner. Oh uh, no! <laughs> oh man, I love them. They're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky like a true bug. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score in our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue you a work visa. You'll if you'll just sign here. Yolo. <laughs> Everyone loves his novelty signature. Just ask Bug John Hancock, says the chair. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be a uh, butt. <laughs> Thought you were going for bug, but nope, just butt. Most fractions are the best fractions, says the high heel. So you oh, gotta, you gotta, gotta. I can't remember what I was doing. To, oh God. Already clicking on screen. So we got we got more uh, Zorkinids. We, we got to kill. more Zorkinids to kill. What what in the? Well, oh. I mean, we could just abandon that. Who, who really needs to kill the hey, Zorkinids anyway? Going to the center of Bug Mars, Bug Mars, going to the center of Bug Mars, Bug Mars, uh, going to the center of. Bug Mars. Oh, let's turn up the volume here. Operator Andre Felipe. Boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous. In case you ever wanted to learn a little bit of history Until about boxing, I think French boxing. Yeah. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred. <laughs> oh, what beautiful scenery! Yeah, just the. <laughs> So, uh, what are your thoughts so far, Gagarius? Uh, 
you know, it's interesting <laughs> to see how the world is divided. Between the, the frogs and the zorknids? In between the... Yeah, sure. Oh, sure, you got a path, man. Oh, man, Which we're taking this choose? one. We're taking this one. Uh, this is a lovely scenic tour. Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637. We, we don't really need to pay attention to the, the history lesson, but... <laughs> So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna re, re come back with the same question that I, I asked you previously. What do you think they're going for, dude? You can imagine I have a feeling that has something. The what the hell? Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck. Has something to do? In the parlance of our time. I have no idea, man. Like society today, I don't know. <laughs> so. I mean, the game concept in general, it seems like they're going for sort of a surrealist comedic yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, like, crazy. Because it's a lot of combinations of things that you're like, I don't understand yeah. what any of this means. Um, and it's good that you find it funny, because I feel like if some other people on the show were to have played this, they would have been like, I just, I don't get it. What is ha- like, why are we playing this? No, this is pretty great. Like, I just want to know if there's, like, an end to this. Oh, there is. The, the absolute best thing, though, about this game is it starts off under the pretense that it's just a game, oops, where you are a frog eating bugs and your, your score is fractions, right? And you're like, okay, so it's sort of a bad educational game. But <laughs> I'll I'll yeah, play I'll, I'll play around because some of these upgrades are kind of weird and cool, right? And then the moment you realize you can go under the water and you get the fruit, where where it changes your score to like a billion. Oh, like like a billion. That's that's your hint, right? That something like something weird is, is going right on. You're like, wait, game. what am I playing? Uh, what is, was this a cheat code? Was this intentional? Like, yeah, right, did I find something accidentally? Right, exactly. And so, so you need to get the dragon upgrade in order to continue, though. There's no way you yes. can play. They, it, it presents it as though you have like this path of upgrades to take, but realistically, you you just kind of take them until it leads you to the warp drive, and then when you get the warp drive, it g goes onto here. I don't think there are any actual upgrades that exist. Beyond, the beyond like, what they need you. Yeah. Um, so I it, personally, I think it was genius. The first time I played this game, my mind was blown. What? Uh, cyborg walrus watching TV. What's? There's nothing weird about that. Yeah, nothing weird about that at all. <laughs> Basically, in a lost uh, high tech oh, society, it. right? That's it. Is it? Is that it? it? Seems like it for there. No, try going down. Oh, down. That's where I was gonna go yeah. next. I mean, shoot. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, X -case X KCD, um, they they they've had a habit of making like random. It's a web comic for anyone that doesn't know, um, and they generally like make web comics about like funny but sciency things or like nerdy things, I guess. Um, they've lately or not lately, but every now and then they like to do a little like fun little uh, game or like weird thing, right? And more recently, they made an exploration game that kind of felt like this, where you're just kind of like panning across the world. Um, it was called The Hoverboard, if, for anyone that wants to look it up. Um, and the, the idea is that you're just a character on a hoverboard, and uh, you're just hoverboarding around the world, exploring all sorts of like different little hidden nooks and crannies. And this, this actually reminds me a lot of that, even though this came way before that did. Dude, you found the spaceship. We're, we're out of this joint, man. We don't have to serve the bug lord anymore. Heck yeah. <sighs> okay, command module. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start the... the... taking in your... Sur and, and start to... to calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time Reading since... Reading GDPG. <laughs> well, anyone that's watched any of our other... <laughs> episodes where there's reading they know uh since you're surrounding for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel spring to life man module the walls of the circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull lining the walls you see a porthole a glowing display and a control deck a ladder a ladder leads aft if you don't know how to get started type help and press enter what next Herp. 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 <laughs> Typing with GDPG. What's next? Help. This is a story that you interact with by entering simple English command. Look around. You're a little quiet right now, by the way. I'll look around. Examine ball. 
inventory, get wrench, turn knob, push button, enter phone booth, climb stairs, open box, read pamphlet, pour orange juice into glass, put a plate on placemat. If I remember the adventure, game is maximum. If it's possible to do, it must be good and wise. Start ship. I don't understand that verb. Well, you got to choose one of the ones from Fine. the list. Fine. Pour now. Pout. Pour <laughs> orange juice <laughs> into glass. Uh, just pour orange juice. Oh, uh, so it doesn't know. So I don't know if you've ever played a text adventure. I have not. We're gonna. We're gonna so turn. it 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 requires very specific. Nah verbiage otherwise it's not going to know what you're talking about all right can we like scroll back up to read no we can't okay uh, thanks for so, making me have to edit this again yep <laughs> good good uh let's uh i don't know uh Down i don't know ladder yeah all right, captain's so quarters. Captain's Quarters, this looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod six sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to, to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Steal everything. <laughs> I don't think they're going to know that one. <laughs> uh, you can always type help sleep. again if you forget. There you go. You can't safely sleep until you're confident you'll return to Bug Mars by the end of the trip. Up ladder. Uh, climb ladder is probably mm. what you want. Climb ladder. Uh, the walls of the sensory room curve to me at the point that correspond to the curved notes of the hall. And the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. So, what do I say? Go to display? You're very quiet. Oh, yeah. sorry. Go to display? Yeah, right. try that. Nope. Nope. I only understood as far as go to. Oh, you, I wrote display. You typoed. Display. That's not a place you can go. Good. Great. Try look display. Look display. There you go. Ah, glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with the destination you don't recognize marked and an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see that the two on screen buttons labeled route details and new destination. Oh, there you go. Uh, new destination. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so obtruse that before you even consciously process what has happened, you've hit the back button and are at the main map again. What next? Um, route hmm. details. Yeah. The screen spills for through the steps, such as spiral spinward at spin. Bathy system far <laughs> faster than you can fathom. Good. Uh, <laughs> exit. I don't. Uh, try just type look. Look. Um. So okay. Uh. Going so display and control deck. Uh. Maybe go to control deck. Maybe go to control deck. Yeah. Control. Oh, let's just type on control. Nope. Best not to fiddle with the controls. I can't take this ship. Uh, maybe go down again. Down the stairs? Down ladder. Or ladder, yeah. Yeah, the cabin's got a purpose living area, sleeping pots next to the nightstand. All is to the four. And Oriental Rug lies in the center sleeping of the wall. All purpose living area. Uh, ladder reads the four. Oriental Rug in the center after all. Uh, look, Oriental Rug? Look. Rug? I feel like there's something up with this it. This is decorative order. It sits in the center of the room. Looking at it, it's more closely. It doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. There you go. Move rug? Yeah, let's try to move rug. Your score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. Shoo, shoo. Fractions, what they're back. Next? Fractions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm that, that would have been great. Um, so, back up ladder? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what, what was under the rug? Um, what next move rug? Moving the rug, you discover a recess. So go below it. Oh, oh okay. Enter enter hatch. Oh, mm-hmm. Enter hatch. Open hatch. hatch. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work in a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Now enter hatch. 
God, this game is so trolly. <laughs> that's that's a that's a very troll movie. <laughs> yeah, right. That's very traditional of, of text adventures. Uh, engine room. Nearly every every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarter to the fort. Okay, I believe this is where things get a little bit more complicated, but we should save this for the next yeah, episode. Yeah, we should absolutely. Um, I think maybe the next episode will be the finale. We'll see. We'll I think see. we'll get three out of this total. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so question of the day. This this is... Now they've gone from, like, changing genre to genre to now a new genre. Yeah. Um, so I guess question of the day is, do you... What do you think is the the goal of this game do you think it's just like a matter of like having a surrealist comedy game or do you think like they're sort of do you think it's sort of like trying to just be like a parody almost of like a bunch of different genres to just kind of like poke fun at them Mm -hmm. um well yeah what do you think the design intent was i guess it's kind of similar to the last question of the day but yeah but i think it's important with this game yeah well now that we've gotten even further into the game we can kind of see like it's kind of crazy. all the different things that are happening um <laughs> nice but uh thank you for watching and uh be sure to vote for the next game you want to see and uh we'll uh see you in see the next, next episode time. bye everybody bye <laughs>